Okay, what's up, everybody? I am here to make a review of the Tech 21 Getty Lee Sans Amp preamp. I got this for my birthday as a gift from a few of my friends, so super awesome. I've had a lot of fun with it. Really awesome sounding, really versatile sounding. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through a few sounds. It can do a lot of things. I'm mainly just going to talk about the few things that I like to do with it. Basically, this is what Getty Lee uses. This is his signature rack mounted unit, and it's two different preamps, I guess, and you can have them going separately into two different signals, which is how I have it set up right now. I believe there isn't a way to have them both going to the same signal. I'm not entirely sure, but for me, that's not how I would do it anyway. So I'm just going to really not talk a whole lot about it, and I'm just going to make different sounds with it. I'm using a Mexican Fender Jazz Bass with Seymour Duncan and Tukuri 2s in them, and it's got some other mods. And then straight out of the preamp into my Focusrite Claret into Logic, nothing else happening. That's it. So I'm going to stop talking, and I'm just going to play around. mention that the sound I am currently on is the setting that he used in the Yes Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction where he was playing with Yes because Chris Squire passed unfortunately so yeah these are the exact settings he was using for that performance so it's very uh Chris Squire sounding <laughs> So that's the Chris Squire setting. Now I'm going to set it to the standard. It's a little more subtle, but it's still got, you know, a lot of the, the classic Getty Lee punch and grind. One really cool thing about this unit is that it has an unaffected out, which is really cool because that means even after you go into it and get affected by the distortion and all that, you can still get a cleave signal unaffected afterwards that you can then put into, say, an amp or a direct box or something. So the way I have mine set up, not currently, but in general, is I have 
my guitar going into the Sans amp, and then I have an unaffected out that goes into my Countryman direct box. And then from that, I have the uh, Countryman going into my Gallon Kruger amp and my Varellen amp in stereo. But yeah, you don't have to do it that way, obviously, but it's cool that you have that option. And that sounds like a lot of cabling, but the cool thing about that unaffected out is it's buffered. So you're all good as far as maintaining your fidelity. Those are the two main settings. I'm just going to kind of mess around with different things. So enjoy that. Yeah, so that's the uh, Tech 21 Getty Lee signature preamp. Uh, it definitely gets the Getty Lee sound, clearly. It's the exact thing he uses. It can do a lot of stuff. I really, really like how those two different channels can get their own signal. That's really helpful. And then, again, with the uh, unaffected signal out, you can always have a totally clean, unaffected signal at the same time and do whatever you want with that as well. So super versatile really grindy sounding can get really deep sounding too but cool yeah thank you guys so much for watching uh this three camera thing is brand new to me so if it came out kind of weird my bad uh if you have any comments on how i can make things look better i should probably get like a a ring light or something i think that would really help a lot too but you know in the meantime thank you so much and i will see you next time please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and it's been real peace <laughs>